Hey Diverse Beauties, welcome back to my channel. So, um, I'm gonna do something that I hope I don't regret. And I'm gonna be waking up literally every single day at 6 a.m. for a week. Now, I wanted to do this because I realize I've been wasting my summer um, by waking up at 11 a.m. or even at noon. And so basically the whole afternoon, like, I do nothing. And then suddenly at, you know, 10 p.m., I'm like, oh my god, I need to make up for all of the, um, for not doing anything all day. So I end up going to sleep at like 2 or 3 a.m., which is, um not not good for me good morning everyone so it is now almost 6 30 um it took me a little bit to get up <laughs> i'm up i'm up um my room is so dark because i have some like flat out curtains so is a struggle when there's no like sunlight coming in but let's change that <laughs> I'm up I'm up I'm so tired so for my workout clothes I'm just keeping it really simple um, it's pretty much all black and a jacket on top I don't have like any of those like really fancy you know gym like workout clothes so this is pretty much what I have Okay, so I just finished working out and cleaning up, so I got dressed. Today is going to be one of my cheat mornings, so I'm actually going to go ahead and buy some McDonald's for my family, and then later on um, at around 10, I have to go translate for my grandma at one of her hair appointments. That's basically being bilingual here so right now it is eight o'clock so i am doing pretty well with the timing so i'm gonna do my skincare and maybe watch a couple of youtube videos while i'm doing my skincare I'm gonna go get some McDonald breakfast for the fam and then maybe I'll do makeup today I don't know yet if I'm gonna do any makeup I did put some um, lip balm on the Venti Beauty lip balm absolutely love them so let's go now it's already almost 9 30 so I gotta go um, it takes a bit to get to the appointment and then I'm just gonna bring my book along with me just in case if I have any time um, for myself um, and yeah, I have a lot of cleaning to do afterwards and I don't know if I'm gonna do anything else the rest of this morning just because it's not like a really typical morning, but if not, then I will see you tomorrow. Good morning guys. It is already 6 40. I kind of slept in a little bit today um because I'm so tired but at least I woke up before 7. <laughs> Yay! Let's go. Good morning guys. So right now I'm actually getting ready to go and work out. I've been pretty much functioning like a turtle right now because I'm so tired I've been only getting like six hours of sleep which is not enough for me I feel like day one was quite successful like I woke up you know pretty on time and I'm giving myself like 
um, six to seven being like a grace period. So if I wake up any time between that hour, it's perfect for me. I'm not going to be like too picky about it. Uh, but I do think that, you know, I wasn't as organized as I could have been yesterday. So I am going to try to be a little bit more organized today. So last night, I before I went to sleep, I ended up writing myself my little schedule of what I'm going to do today. Um, that way, like, I can stay on track. And I feel like because I'm not used to waking up this early and having so much time in the mornings, I don't know like what I'm doing with my life, you know? So I just finished doing my skincare and um, working out, walking my dog. So I'm gonna eat some breakfast now. Uh, I'm thinking I'm just gonna do my usual egg sandwich. I am like obsessed with egg sandwiches. I know I should probably eat something healthier, but like, I just can't. It's like one of, it really makes my day. And if I don't eat an egg sandwich, I just feel like it's not complete, you know? So I really want to make a smoothie, but sadly my smoothie blender is like currently being repaired. So I think I'm just gonna maybe eat some fresh fruits kind of to make up for not having a smoothie so i did buy some blueberries i have some more down here i'm like obsessed with blueberries and i ended up finding this limited rose berries i've never had this one before so they look like regular raspberries except lighter i don't know i'm so excited to try it out i got all my fruits so i think i'm gonna just use up all of these because i have like just a little bit in this box Pour some raspberry. I'm just gonna like fill this all up, honestly. I think I'm actually gonna make some Japanese matcha just because I haven't had matcha, like homemade matcha in a while. So let's do it. matcha, my berry salads, and my egg sandwich on Italian bread. Looking forward to eating this breakfast because I've been up since 6.30 and it's already 10. So I literally have like two more hours to try to get as much as I can before 12. That way my afternoons are a little bit more relaxed and my mornings are more productive. There's something about the way that you understand mm -mm. We don't need a rush and we don't need to make no plan mm -mm. Okay, so here's the mess that I have for my skincare stash so as you guys saw in my previous videos this is my skincare and it's getting really crazy because I've gotten more skincare um, so I'm thinking I'm gonna put everything that's in this basket there and all of this skincare here hopefully it actually fits but let's do that I'm so happy I got skincare here and then basically everything that I used for like mopping and stuff and like towels blankets when I do my nails now I got to organize my mask a bit but can I just show you can I show you all of these boxes yeah these are literally boxes empty boxes that I keep because I think I'll use them for like you know reviews or blog posts or something and then I'm and then I don't. My baby is so tired. He's been waking up at 6 a.m. with me every day so far. And he's not used to that, so. Aww. Ta-da! 
so it looks a little bit better I think especially with this basket so success I just finished working out. Look at all the sweat on my face. Um, I was doing the fitness marshal, which I absolutely love. Um, today, I'm a little bit behind, so I'm gonna um, switch it up a bit. And I'm gonna get ready first, and then I'm gonna walk my dog. And my bestie's coming over, so I'm really excited. So right now, it's pretty much like around 8.30. I'm gonna be really honest with you guys, I ended up waking up at 7.30. Yeah. I know. So original plan was, you know, to wake up anytime from six to seven. Someone is doing their lawn. I have no idea why you're doing your lawn at like 8.30 in the morning. So um, I ended up, you know, waking up pretty much about an hour to an hour and a half later than my usual schedule. And it's because I blame Netflix. I ended up going to sleep at like 1 a.m., like around 1.30, because I was watching a Netflix and I couldn't stop watching it. And I just kept going and kept going. So it ended up me waking up at 7.30. But I'm glad that this morning is gonna be a very easy morning. Even though I am, you know, I woke up later than usual. I did get my workout done and I'm gonna I'm currently doing my skincare and then my bestie is actually coming over which I'm really excited we're gonna have breakfast together um, so I'm making her some breakfast and then after that we're gonna go on a drive because I'm actually currently working on getting my driver's license and I'm like a little bit of a late well no I'm actually like <laughs> I'm a huge late bloomer like I am literally late to everything in life um, and that's including my driver's license. Okay, makeup done. Um, okay, I'm running behind, so I'm gonna go walk my dog now and make some breakfast. Ah, good morning, everyone. So today's day four, um, and uh, I kind of messed up again today. I woke up at 7:30 again. I feel like I'm okay with that though, because like yesterday, I woke up at 7:30 and I felt like better. Like I felt like. You know, 7.30 just fits better for me. You know, I don't feel as tired. It's not too early. It's not too late. I still have, like, a good amount of time in the mornings to do things and be, like, productive. But I'm not, like, exhausted from waking up so early. So, I actually really like waking up at 7.30. Um, I'm going to try, though, to keep waking up at 6 um, tomorrow. Especially because tomorrow um, I have to go on a road trip. Um, for a day <laughs> um, so yeah I don't you know let's see let's see how that goes okay guys so I made myself some breakfast Ta -da! it's one of my favorite breakfasts. it's basically a egg sandwich and a English muffin um, and then some fruits um, basically raspberries um, blueberries and banana absolutely love fruit salads um, right now I'm just kind of chilling and like taking time for myself because I realized I woke up not feeling very mentally and physically well and at 7 30 when I first woke up I was like yeah I can totally do this and then I realized like my body was just like no girl you can't but I felt like I needed this you know I was like girl just get those extra hours of sleep um, wake up when you feel like it make yourself something that you feel happy about and just take the day slow, you know? And I feel like those days when I wake up mentally, like, not great. Um, I try not to, like, stay in bed all day, though. Like, I, that's something I definitely don't want to do for myself because I realize whenever I stay in bed all day, I just feel worse. So I woke up finally and made myself one of my favorite breakfasts. Also, lately, I've been just thinking a lot about, like, what I'm doing with my life, you know? Just because, like, I'm like, oh, well, you know, I don't really want to go back to doing a 9-to-5 job. Like, I was so unhappy doing a 9-to-5 job because it just, I knew it wasn't me. Like, I've been working 9-to-5 job for a very long time. And it's just, like, not who I am, you know? So, 
I'm so afraid that I have to go back to that soon and I just feel like that's been really hurting my mental health too and also like my dreams in a way just because like I really really want to be a full-time content creator like that is something that I absolutely want to do and that it's just my passion um, and like by the way I am not crying I just have really bad allergies this morning so if you see my eyes just gradually tearing up it's just allergies <laughs> I'm honestly a hot mess right now like it's freaking crazy <laughs> Let me just keep eating my sandwich and I wanted to show you guys this because dude, I feel like whenever we watch those like 6 a.m. morning routine videos it's they seem always perfect and I kind of want to show that life isn't perfect and it's okay because we're humans you know um, if I feel a little bit better maybe I'll do some workout because I feel like working out is supposed to be good for you especially with your mental health so I'm gonna try to like maybe do some dancing and stuff. I really like fitness Marshall, so I'll probably do that. Good morning guys. Today is day five of my 6 a.m. routine. Um, I'm a little bit... No, oh. I'm a little bit more dressed up today as you can tell. Um, I am actually heading out on my um, little day trip with my bestie. So we're going to like a whole other state um, for the day to take her bunny to the vet. Um, and then as well as just like grab some lunch and enjoy the day. Um, so that's what we're doing um, and it's only like 7.40 right now so I'm like so tired but we're heading out pretty soon. I'm just waiting for her to pick me up <laughs> and then yeah we're heading out and today like girl can you can you see my hair? It's so much more curly today and I'm really happy about that because if you guys know I'm still trying to go on my curly hair journey and hopefully get better curls. So. Here's my makeup, very simple makeup. This is kind of like my go-to makeup. Um, I did do like a whole TikTok video on it, so go check it out and yeah. And here's my outfit, very simple, just like a cami, cardigan over it, jeans, and then I'm gonna wear um, my Air Force. We got some McDonald's. I love McDonald's breakfast. I could eat it every single day if I could. Um, I wish I could. <laughs> and then we're now on the road. So she's she enjoying her hashi. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So I messed up again today, and it is 8 a.m. right now. I totally slept through my alarms. Like, I honestly did not hear them whatsoever. So now I'm here. Laying in my bed at a.m. Just finished doing laundry and I did my makeup. I'm actually heading out to go on a picnic. I mean, the weather is kind of crappy today. It's like starting to rain soon. So I don't know like what's gonna go on with the picnic. Maybe we'll do like an indoor picnic or something. But yeah, um, I didn't really do much this morning, honestly, just because I woke up so late. But I'm actually watching the first episode of Loki, finally. So I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'm a little bit confused. I have a lot in my mind right now, but 
I'll probably talk to some of my friends who really like Loki and like Marvel and see what they think. But if you guys like the Loki, let me know what you guys think about it and like what's gonna happen. Like, is Loki coming back to the MCU or like what's going on, you know? So that's pretty much it for this morning. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I cannot wait. Tomorrow's the last day of the challenge. So I'm so happy. And I'm gonna try my best to like be a very, very productive tomorrow and wake up on time. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is day seven, last day of this challenge, and I am so happy because I'm, I'm done. I'm done with this challenge. It was so difficult to wake up at 6 a.m. every single day, and of course I failed a few days of those. Today's my last day, and I haven't done like literally anything. Um, I basically um, did some manifestation, and I've been writing like content ideas and stuff like that answer some of your questions on the 6 a.m routine one will i continue the 6 a.m routine no i will not be continuing the 6 a.m routine it is just not my style i didn't like it i will definitely probably consider doing 7 a.m or 8 a.m i think those are more reasonable times um the only time i'll be waking up that early is if i have to like go somewhere that is like important or something like that but yeah 6 7 a.m 8 a.m are more reasonable times two what have i learned from my 6 a.m routine well it's harder than expected and i felt like you really do need to plan out your mornings um if you decide to wake up that early just because i felt like by 11 o'clock or even by noon i just like had nothing to do and i was really bored and i realized like what am I doing with my life like you know but at the same time it was kind of nice because I got everything done in the mornings and then like in the afternoons and evenings I can just like relax watch Netflix like do whatever I want um but yeah those are like you know pros and cons of waking up so early so I definitely need to like plan out my mornings a lot more clearly especially if I decide to like wake up a lot earlier in the mornings I could totally see why people wake up so early just because you're just a lot more productive and you can focus on yourself i think i'll definitely try to continue waking up early but like not 6 a.m <laughs> like you know 7 a.m 8 a.m those are better times for me um and i'm really excited to continue this like new lifestyle just because um, I realized that I'm I seem happier for sure like my skin looks better um, I feel healthier because I'm working out um, I feel more productive because I'm doing things that I want to do and that I love to do um, so yeah those are pretty much everything that I've learned from this routine and I'll definitely um, give you an update if I ever do another video like this and let me know if you guys actually end up doing like a 6 a.m. challenge because that would be fun to see and yeah that's pretty much it for today so as always don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so you guys are notified whenever i upload a video and go ahead and follow me on my insta and tiktok where i've been doing a lot more content on there and of course take care of your health diverse beauties and i will see you next time